Hello, and welcome back to the Cook to Flourish kitchen. This is Robin Cook, and I am very excited to share with you a new recipe for chimichurri. So I just got back from where the red fern grows. We have some beautiful things from our CSA this week, and I'm excited to share with you how to use four of the different greens and herbs into this chimichurri sauce. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need two cups of either fresh cilantro or a blend of different herbs and greens. So for me, I did one cup of packed cilantro, as we can see right here, beautiful cilantro. And then I also did a half a cup of the radish greens. And then I also did like a quarter cup of each of the pea shoots and then the clay tonia. But you could do all two cups cilantro. You could do part cilantro, part parsley. You can mix and match. So it's, it's totally fine any of those ways. And then you're gonna need one tablespoon of fresh garlic or about one to two cloves, one tablespoon of minced red onion. You're also gonna need a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, a half a teaspoon of sea salt, and then one teaspoon of dried oregano. All right, and then for our liquids, you're gonna need two tablespoons of vinegar. I personally used a key lime flavored white wine vinegar, or you could just do a regular white wine or red wine vinegar, and then one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. So that's here. And then we have three quarters of a cup of organic extra virgin olive oil. So lots of flavor going on in this sauce, and it's going to end up something like this. It's traditionally served over like a grilled steak, or you could do it over like a Southwest spicy chicken would be really good or over a salad. It's quite tasty. So I hope that you really, really enjoy it. So what you're going to need is you can either finely, finely, finely mince these greens and then mix all the ingredients together, or I'm going to take the easy route and I'm going to mix it in a food processor. So I'm going to set these liquids aside because we're going to want to process the greens and the spices together first. So I'm going to take these right over here and we're going to put the greens into the food processor first. Traditionally, this is made with parsley, but we're mixing it up a little bit. So I think that you are going to like it. And then we have our chopped garlic goes in here too. Now you can adjust the amount of garlic. If you don't really like garlic a lot or are sensitive to it, you can reduce it. Or if you love garlic, you can add more. I'm also curious what roasted garlic would be like in this. So you might even want to give that a try as well. Okay, so we have our greens, we have our spices, and now we're gonna turn this on. We're not gonna do it too long, okay? Put that in there. Just pulse it a few times. to get those greens nice and minced, nice and finely chopped. And now we're gonna take our oil and our vinegar here, and our lemon juice, of course, too. All right, there we go. And then pour our olive oil in. So this dish is loaded with healthy fats and wonderful flavor and antioxidants from the greens. So you can pulse this as finely as you want. If you want it more of a puree closer to pesto, you can totally do that. Or if you want it to be more herb and oily, that separation, you can leave it more coarse. So it's totally up to you. I think I'm gonna do a couple more pulses. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to bring my cutting board back over here and show you. So see, we have this beautiful green goodness, and I'm going to put this into a serving container. And so like I said, you can cook up some Southwest chicken. It would be amazing. You could even do like some salmon. I'm sure it would be delicious on that as well or a grilled steak. The first time I had this was at a dear friend's house and 
Her mom had made some amazing grilled steak and then they put it on a bed of greens, so the steak on the greens, with some grilled onion and some grilled asparagus. It was so good and some avocado, gotta have avocado. And then they had this chimichurri sauce and we put that on top and it was just phenomenal. So my friends, here we have it, a healthy chimichurri sauce with local veggies. So thank you so much and enjoy.